There's one more groups that we'll talk about how to protect, and that is how to protect diols. So this is related to how to protect our alcohols, but actually it's more related to how to protect ketones, and you'll see why. So let's look at protecting a 1,3-diol. Now, this will only work if the diols or the two alcohols are close enough together. So either 1, 2, or 1, 3. If they're further than that, this is unlikely to work, and you'll have to protect them using one of the other methods that we talked about for protecting alcohols. But if they're close enough together, we could use this. So just to illustrate how this will work, I'm going to just show on this 1,3-diol, so they're relatively positioned 1,3. This is actually not 1,3, one, one, it's, it's a 2, this is like a 2,5, but anyway. Now, I mentioned that this is actually like protecting a ketone. And if you recall, when we're protecting a ketone, one of the common ways to do it is to use ethylene glycol, which is a diol. So, to protect this, we can use exactly the same chemistry, except the alcohol is what we care about, and the ketone is just something really small like acetone. We don't really care about acetone. That's a pretty small molecule. It's easy. It's readily available, inexpensive. All things that are wonderful for making a protecting group. And every lab will have it. So we have our ketone, we have our diol, and effectively we could you could either think of this as protecting the, the ketone or protecting the diol. It's really the same thing in this case. It just, how we're thinking about it really comes down to what we're going to keep in the end. And we're not keeping acetone in the end. We're going to keep this alcohol in the end. So it will make this acetal. And this is what would result if we have 1, 3 positioning. And of course, we can deprotect. And that's simply adding water and sulfuric acid. And then we would go back to our alcohol form. Just like that. Now, this is also possible to do on 1-2 positioning. So I'll just write 1-3, one, 1-2 one, positioning. So just to illustrate that, we'll just choose something that has 1-2 uh, diol positioning. Same process using the acetone. Doesn't really need to be acetone, but it's nice and small. And like I said, inexpensive, readily available. So that's probably why we'll end up using it. So in this case, we'll get a five member ring. And of course, we can deprotect it simply, same step. Add water, sulfuric acid. And then we can go back to the alcohol. Now, I'm really just showing the protection and deprotection steps. Uh, well, we'll also have our ketone, but in this case, we're not really concerned about that one. Now, I. I'm just showing the, let's protect this, and then we'll, here's how to deprotect this. 
in reality, we would take this protected molecule, do something else with the rest of it, and then deprotect later, right? This is just to illustrate, here's how to do the protection, here's how to do the deprotection. Um, I, I don't think there's any real reason why you would just protect and then deprotect immediately. You would really want to do other reactions on this. Now, I mentioned that this works on 1, 2, and 1, 3 positioning. So 1, 2, 1, 3. The reason why is we're able to form a five-membered ring in the 1, 2 positioning or a six-membered ring in the 1, 3. And if you recall anything about forming rings, you'll re remember that forming a five- or a six-membered ring is favored. Forming anything less than that is not favorable. Of course, in this case, there really isn't a need to form something less than that. It'd have to be on the same carbon, and that's just going to be too much steric hindrance and too much ring strain for this to happen. Or, if we were to go further and go up to, say, a 1-4 positioning, we would need a 7-membered ring. And those are less favorable, just due to, again, ring strain and being able to fold back on itself. But if we have one of these two options, then we can protect them using essentially the same chemistry that we use to protect ketones. It's just in this case, we care about the alcohol and we're using a throwaway ketone.